Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about astrological or zodiac sign compatibility between Gemini and another Gemini. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant for both people. Okay, well, when you have uh, two people the same sign, I see this as neutral. Uh, some people will see this as very harmonious and advantageous, and this you might get this like this instantaneous, uh, quick connection. But in the long haul, you can have that you have when you have two people the same sign, it's like you could have strong intensification of the positive. As far as the positive attributes go, they might enhance each other's positive characteristics and qualities, but at the same time, they may also enhance the negatives, and, and this could work against these people as well. Now, when you look at these uh, two people, there can be uh, communication may be really paramount in this particular relationship, and these people can enjoy uh, the strong mutual exchange of intellectual ideas and concepts and have a plethora of them, and they can share them with others, and, and there's no shortage of intellectual stimuli, and, and really... This could be kind of this thing where uh, on the negative side of this, you have like Gemini can be very loquacious and talkative. And you might have in converse, when these people are in conversation with each other, you can get a lot of uh, talking over the other, each one talking over the other, uh, at least fairly frequently, as that their minds are just racing, are racing so fast. And each, you might find each one uh, finishing or completing the sentences for each other on a number of occasions. And I, I do really mean, really mean that. And the thing about it is, so you, you have, you have that to, to deal with possibly in this uh, particular relationship, whether it is sexual, romantic, or, uh, or platonic, or what have you. And really, I mean, on the uh, one side of this is that both people can be very whimsical, very young at heart. They're both, I mean, Geminis are optimistic it's an extra it's a masculine or extroverted sign uh, the thing I, I think what's important about this is that if the, if these people are in it's like a significant other situation and they're uh, they're married and they have kids or something they have to be be careful because the thing about it is is that Gemini's like to be can be galvanizing. they can be very mobile and they they really like to roam around a lot and, and go to different places and make sure that they have uh, as far as stability at home and, and of course if there's so uh, like a strong fourth house or there's other uh, modifying influences or contraindicators which are very well maybe for one or both people this could help immensely um, but the thing about it is you, you'll look at this uh, combination and the thing is in the as far as um, there's there's no shortage probably will be no shortage uh, shortage of mental or intellectual stimulation for these people uh, these this couple or whether or, or just friendship whatever these two people are uh, they may enjoy like things like trivial pursuit or, or any or giving each other a uh, brain teasers uh, testing things that require mental agility they, they might really have a, a lot of enjoyment with this and even something like a game of haiku and you can look the google that and look that up some older people will know what i'm talking about uh that is, as far as that game goes it was something i like to play when i was uh, a kid maybe that had something to do with my gemini moon i don't know but anyway and and really uh, another thing is if this is a sexual relationship as far as in the uh in the bedroom there of course there's going to be no shortage of uh communication and the thing about it is they they have to remember but both these signs are could be strongly connected with mental or intellectual stimulation but sometimes the emotions can be somewhat uh, superficial. They don't have to worry about variety in the bedroom, so to speak. But the thing about it is, uh, unless there's some strong contraindicators in the chart, which there could very well be, that this could be something where the emotional connection may not be strong for uh, for Gemini and, and another Gemini. So that's something to take into consideration if there's like some strong water influence in the chart uh, to help maybe modify modify this a little bit some kind of strong contraindicator then that that's another thing but anyway really is uh, these people could be both young at heart very uh, whimsical very lively 
And really, it, what, what's positive is that they are both very uh, outgoing and being very sociable. And the thing about this is that this sign, though, a Gemini can be rather flirtatious. And really, they have to uh, just, uh, this, these people being flirt, perhaps both may be flirtatious. And you might get a little bit of jealousy, uh, maybe connected with this, so to speak. At the same time, being of the same sign, they're both... Uh, they, they could have a mutual understanding of the of this because one is kind of like the mirror image of the other so that that is one positive thing i guess to look at that and as long as the flirtation of course is not escalating or ascending to something else so anyway what i want to talk about is it's also important to look at the aspect if any uh that is made between these two people in this uh, particular combination now is this could indicate whether this combination might really uh, it might in these people the energies may integrate well or maybe not as well but in in both cases neither one is an adverse aspect as far as these possibilities one the first one i'm going to talk about is the conjunction and now they're already conjunct by sign and i see this as neutral in this aspect conjunction i see it's neutral as well now let's say for example someone has um the sun moon or ascendant in gemini at four degrees and the other person has the sun moon or ascendant at gemini at six degrees that would form a conjunction aspect and this is strongly about intensification and as i stated earlier when you have like when, when you're talking about and it's i was talking about this as being of the same sign but when you have um a conjunction aspect this could be really you could have uh, it, it could, I believe, enhance the, the positive with each other, but also the negative attributes. And the thing about this is it's a very uh, intensifying, and basically this accentuates what I talked about with, uh, with, with my general Gemini uh, slash Gemini uh, compatibility um, analysis before. Uh, so anyway... On another side, you could actually have a semi-sextile aspect take place uh, between the energies with these two people. Let's say that one person has the sun, moon, or ascendant at Gemini at zero degrees, and the other person has the sun, moon, or ascendant at Gemini at 29 degrees. I call that slightly positive and auspicious because it is semi-sextile is a minor aspect, but it is a positive one nonetheless. And you could have a little better blending uh, of these energies than otherwise uh, indicated. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for astrological or zodiac sign compatibility between Gemini and another Gemini. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about astrological or zodiac sign compatibility between a Gemini and a Cancer. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.